see inside this wall, you would see that there are no bricks at all. The structure is entirely made of steel. This is a very different and much faster way to build a house. And Brazil is still beginning to discover it. Today we came to Ponta Grossa in Paraná to the Espaço Smart Factory to learn about this dry construction system, light steel framing. Shall we see Borave? Let's start with these strange names. Light steel framing means light metal structure. Because everything we are going to see built today was made with steel parts, which are super light. And dry construction because it uses very little water. While in a traditional brick house, you will use water to mix the mortar and stick one brick to another, or else make concrete for the slab, for the beam and column. Here, you do not need any of that. It is very cool for us to be here because Espaso Smart is the largest steel framing company in Latin America and I am sure that this process is much cooler than you imagine. It already starts with the purchase. You can go to one of their 43 stores, spread all over Brazil and choose a house. They have several options of ready-made plans, of houses that have already been built before and that are planned from start to finish. And of course, you can also order a fully customized project or bring the project from your favorite architect. And there is still the option to buy a house directly from the website as if buying clothes. In fact, it is one of the very rare places where you can see the total price of a house that is yet to be built. Let's start the project, the architectural part. There is a whole team prepared to plan the house. Already thinking about the logic of light steel framing, it is possible to start from a traditional design. But there are much greater savings if the sizes and possibilities are all considered from the start for a house based on steel profiles. Beautiful house. Are you satisfied? Let's go to engineering. Here, each metal bar will be defined and it is also time to draw the base of the house, where each electric wire and each water pipe will pass through. Already thinking about the space, the holes that will exist in the structure, you must have already figured out that the more well designed the project here is, the fewer headaches and less waste there will be in the construction. And fewer scares too, right? The project is ready, the house goes to a pen drive. Seriously, it is a pen drive for printing. And it is not for printing the blueprint, it is for printing the metal sheets. The files will be placed in this little beauty here. It is a machine called a roll former and it is the one that is going to make the magic happen. Follow along with me. The raw material arrives in coils of steel already treated and coated with zinc to protect against corrosion. Therefore, you can build near the beach without any problem. The coils are sliced into slitters or mini coils, already in the right size for each piece to be produced. The roll former reads the project from the pen drive, unrolls the metal, makes the holes, bends, cuts steel, and already prints the code of the piece, according to the project. With this code, it is possible to know exactly where on the construction site this piece will fit. An entire house can be printed in less than one day. What you are seeing behind me is the kit of a complete house. In a few months, there will be a family living inside. Of course, here they also make profiles in standard size, which you can buy at a hardware store. This material will be mostly used by those who want to do a renovation. Now these houses go to some city throughout Brazil. As in this construction technique, the material is super easy to transport. It is already being used all over Brazil, in the countryside, in the city. To make it easier here, they already load the truck in a way that at the time of unloading, the material already comes out in the order in which it will be assembled. And of course, the house comes with a complete assembly manual. But don't worry, you are not the one who will have to assemble it. The smart space monitors the construction, makes visits and conducts inspections to provide guidance wherever necessary. But they also offer a course in partnership with Senai to train qualified assemblers and they will indeed know exactly how to assemble. You are curious to see this assembled here, right? Look here, this structure is inside the Espacho Smart Factory so people can have an idea, get to know how it is, how the system works. But we made a point of coming to a real construction as well. A house that will have two floors, 550 square meters, and use more than 20 tons of steel. Here you can see that the assembly is all screwed together and planned. Practically nothing needs to be cut or measured at the time of construction. 
It even seems like the pieces were designed millimetrically to fit together. That's because they really were, right? Here they call these pieces engineered steel because they are already ready to be used exactly as it is in the project. In a house of 250 square meters, this stage of steel assembly takes two weeks to complete. It's quite fast, but how are we going to fill this here? First of all, they will run the wires in the pipes and then you don't need to break any bricks to pass anything through. The wall is a sandwich. And inside, right in the core, there is some type of insulation which can be PET wool, glass wool or rock wool. And that is what will provide the thermal insulation, meaning a house that is cool in the summer and warm in the winter. And then you will save on air conditioning and heating. But this wool also ensures sound insulation. It does not let the sound pass through, the noise from outside does not enter. And it is worth emphasizing that in this type of thermal and acoustic insulation, steel frame houses can be much better than a traditional house. And outside, how is it? Inside there, the first thing will be a hydrophobic membrane. It does not let water enter, but it lets the wall breathe. It lets gases pass through. Then there will be a very resistant layer of fiberglass plaster, which is called glass rock. And the penultimate layer is a base coat, which is a protective layer. And from this moment on, looking from the outside, we can no longer tell that the house was built with steel frame. It looks like a plastered brick house. And on top, you can put whatever finish you want. In this case, it was a textured paint. In this work here, the option was to use a natural stone, which is super heavy. But it's cool because we can see that the wall structure holds up. Inside, to make the closure, there will be a special drywall board and then there are many people who think that this board can't hold anything. That you can't hang a television, put in a built-in piece of furniture, you can't even hang a picture. And I will confess that I also thought that. But relax, this is a thing of the past. Today, on a sign like this, a single screw can hold up to 50 kilograms of weight pulling downwards. To prove it, there is a little shelf here with a 25 kilogram bucket of dough on top. Let's see if this bucket is real and not empty, right? No, okay, no. They also have a built-in niche, a wall-mounted television, and the wall is holding up well. And what if maintenance is required? And what if you have to open the wall to fix a pipe inside? It's simple. Cut the plasterboard, fix what needs to be fixed, and then you can cover it with another cut piece of plasterboard. To finish the cutout, do you know what to use? A little plaster paste, just like that. Some people have the feeling that if a house was built using this system, it will be difficult to expand or to do a renovation. But we are here exactly in an opposite example. A house that was built in light steel frame is being expanded without any problem at all. And what if it catches fire? The light steel frame system meets all standards including having various materials that retard flames. Here, we can compare two walls, one in this type of construction and the other in common masonry. So weighing, oh, this one is 10.8 kilograms and this 29. Another thing we can also notice is that the thickness is quite different. This one is much thinner. So you have an internal space gain that they calculate here, which is more or less 4%. On the roof, you can use various different materials and what people recommend here is a super light but very efficient roof called shingle. It works in a way similar to the wall. First, there is a layer of insulation, then oriented strand board panels, which is the wood we use to cover the inside of the Manuel Do Mundo Studio. Next, a subroofing layer, which is to insulate well from the water and then actually the shingle tiles. She is super thin and is first nailed to the structure underneath and then glued one on top of the other with a glue that as the sun hits, it sticks more and more. In the end, it looks very fancy, you know? But what about the finished house? Does it look nice or not? Looking from the outside, you won't even notice the difference. And if the project is cool, the house looks nice, yes? Entering, you will also hardly notice any difference unless she has the temperature and the sound a little more comfortable. The wet part of the sink, tile, bathroom and shower enclosure is normal. Common finishing can be used without any problem. The upstairs also doesn't make noise. Downstairs already has insulation for that. By the way, the floor is also normal. You can install whatever you want with the advantage that here the walls will come out exactly square. One thing that I myself did not know very well, which they are using a lot here, is that the frames, the door and window frames, 
are all made of PVC. This is a super light material which provides really good insulation and that makes a big difference in the overall performance of the house. Here they have a cool demonstration that simulates the noise heavy traffic noise outside. At the moment you close the window, the noise disappears completely. Hey man, come to one of the Aspacho smart stores. They have several demonstrations of these which are really cool. I know that those who watch Manuel du Mundo usually like construction and today there were a lot of new things to see, so I am still going to give a spoiler. Here they are programming a type of project in which you can walk through the house in 3D as if it were a game. But you can turn off the layers and understand exactly what is behind inside each wall. A thumbs up is worth it, right? But what I find cool about this whole idea here is that it is meant to be a smarter construction that wastes less material, that takes less time, that is more sustainable. And for that, there is a lot of planning. That way we have to solve as few problems as possible at the time of the construction. And it's not just building houses, you can make gas stations, cottages, pharmacies, hotels, all with light steel framing. If you enjoyed it and you're at that phase of life where you're thinking about building a house, consider stopping by a Espacho Smart Store because here you will be able to see and practice everything I talked about in the video. The link is in the description, all right? All of this here would look really cool to renovate that workshop at the back of Manual do Mundo, huh?